JJ! <laughs> JJ! <laughs> like like serenaded yeah. up. We'll start playing the, the intro. Lamborghini! No, we'll start playing the podcast intro. <laughs> New Year, right? We're in it now. Who are your me. dream... Let's say, right? Harry Re- Styles. Realistic. Oh. Re- realistic. Quite attainable, but might be a bit of a push and dream. Who guests? Who what dream it? Dream as in the dream. Is in, the in if you could have anybody. Dream is in dream. Three. What, yeah, dream. What are the three. What's the Can we do this one at a time, please? Right. So unrealistic. Everyone say they're unrealistic. Unrealistic. Guests. Harry yeah. Styles. Harry Styles. Why? See, a fucking beautiful man and very talented. I, I would literally sh- sat there just probably staring at him. Be like. That would be a great podcast. No, I'd just let him talk for an hour. Yeah. Mine would be Harry Styles as well, but I don't want to say the same person. So, ooh. Right, ooh. Mm. Out of anybody, Harry Styles. Like, I, I, I well, like him, to be, but... No, to be fair, like, it'll be Harry Styles or it'll be George Daniel from 1975. And I think Harry Styles would just be interesting because of his lifestyle and then obviously him. But George Daniel, because of he does production, so for me... With that like, music stuff, I'd I literally would probably sit there for an hour and a half and just pick oh. his brain about everything. He would be... Is, is he unrealistic? George, George Daniel, 1975 drummer and producer. No, like, 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 dream or unrealistic. That would literally, yeah, that would, I, well, I don't really see that happening anytime soon, but mm. I, I would say that if it was even realistic or unrealistic, that would literally be my dream podcast guest, huh. George Daniel. What about you? Uh, well, I was going to see how he sales, but if not, probably Steven Gerrard or Fernando Torres. Steven Gerrard. You know, just want to play football, yeah. you know, boy. Yeah. 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 Uh, wait, before, wh- why Steven Gerrard? Just for people that don't know. Just love him. My idol. Uh, probably the reason why I... Lo- well, not the reason I love Liverpool, but he was the main reason why I started to support them. Uh, the, re- the reason I started Liverpool because I liked the goalkeeper kit. That's the only reason. But really? Then, yeah, I liked the Pepe Arena kit. I didn't ask for the Liverpool kit. I asked for the Pepe Arena kit for Christmas. But could you... Oh, Scouts are going to get pissed off here, but could you deal with... <laughs> in the mic for... I mean, I'm from Scotland, so... Yeah, yeah very true. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know if Steven Gerrard's a good talker though, is he? Like, of course is, he is. Yeah, 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 of course. Is he? Is he? Yeah, he's, yeah, of course. He's, good. he's good on interviews and stuff. Yeah, oh. I was actually, someone got him on their podcast over a month and I was watching it and he's quite good. Oh. He doesn't really crack a smile that often, but yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I've never seen Steven Gerrard. Imagine like the England team with uh, with Gerrard and the Skulls and everyone would have been fucking miserable. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, my uh, dream guest would either be. Matty Healy! It wouldn't actually. I mean, it wouldn't, so you've embarrassed yourself. Andy Carroll. Andy Carroll, yeah. It would either, slow tie. One of them would be slow tie. Okay. But it, but that's not my biggest one. My biggest one... J1. Why don't we just let him talk? Yeah. <laughs> maybe maybe if, if you know the person actually answers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the main character. Sorry, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Uh, Azalea. I would say Bugsy Malone would be my number one dream guest. Uh. <laughs> Why is that? What the fuck? Why? <laughs> because he's got a really good story, and I I listen to all these like or oh, oh, J Cole, you know one of them. Sick. Yeah, J Cole, but I know J Cole's like past oh, unrealistic. I thought you told me yours would be Drake unrealistic. Uh, I mean Drake would be a really if J good Cole's one. past unrealistic. What the hell? Yeah, uh, that's no. yeah. It's still yeah. unrealistic. You can't be past unrealistic. Well, it's just unrealistic. If, wait, if we're going to talk, because I feel like Bugsy Malone probably would be able to get on at one point. If we're talking about totally unrealistic, I'd say J. Cole, because I feel yeah. like he's got loads. Right. What's the next one? The next one is yeah. uh, mid tier, so kind of mid tier. Like, we, if we keep. It's like Clash if, of Creators tearing people. Yeah. We're like, who relevant? Callum G. <laughs> uh, if, we, if we keep going, we in, let's say, six months, podcast keeps growing, yeah. who we could get on, who we'd like to get on, who would that be? Louis Capaldi. That's a good one. See, that's a good one. I'd love it. Louis, if you're watching, come on, please. Uh, come on the podcast, please, please. From Wait. one Scottish man to another. You told me I sound like you, so come on. Don't Haven't you actually seen him in real life? Like, you told me a story. Oh, no, I walked past him in a... I walked past him at one of the BLM marches. I was standing right next to him. And I was like, oh, it's Louis Capaldi, but I wasn't going to say anything, obviously. You said that message weird. in the group chat, and we was like, tell him to come on the podcast. Yeah, I was like, oh, I was no, like, nah. he, was just, he was just standing right next to me at one of the BLM marches, and I was just, I was just, I was just like, oh, it's Louis Capaldi. He's from the same place, like, town, isn't he, our city? What, it's me? Yeah. No. I thought no, he was. No, no, no. Like, 10 minutes yeah, or something. About 20 minutes away, yeah. Oh. That picture you sent in the group chat was very strange, because it didn't seem like a BLM march like in London. You was, like, in the field with mountains oh, oh, surrounded because, by... Oh, because we arrived quite late, so it was pretty dead. They so what, it was literally, like, me, Louis Capaldi, and, like, four of a fork in the field. <laughs> and all big in the Black Lives. Um... <laughs> you made a difference. Yeah. Right. Uh, what about you? Ooh. Like, mid... Like, someone that is a big goal, but also it's... You're going to have to work to get it. 
Anyone come to mind? Or no, do you, really. should, should I? Should yeah, I? you ask yours. I'll give my thing. I feel like mine would be... Alan Shearer. Alan Shearer. Alan Shearer is a No, I'm going to say Alan Shearer. You're going to say Alan Shearer? I'll take, I'll take Alan Shearer because I have a contact for Alan Shearer. But Dad, if you actually do watch these podcasts, can you please do the thing? Wait, what? Uh, do the thing, Dad. Do the thing, Dad. Come on, man. Uh, his dad is Teddy Sheridan for anyone that doesn't know. Yeah. No, 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 no. His dad's not no, being no, very trella. I'm joking, I'm joking. Um, no, Alan Shearer because uh, he was at my, my sister's wedding. Cause he, Were you there? I was there at my sister's yeah, wedding. Yeah, he's got four before me. Not like he four. Have you actually? Got, I'll show you a picture of me. With Alan Shearer? Yeah, yeah. See, in Newcastle, Alan Shearer is like this mystical beast that I don't actually think exists. No, he was, he was there. I, he stood well, there the I, I feel the complete opposite because when I seen Alan Shearer at St. James's Park, nobody was even coming up to him and I was thinking, is that, be- is that because he's there like every week? So people are like used to seeing his face by now? Like, no. Because like no one was saying hi to him and I was like, Alan, all right, can we, get a, I'm like, can we get a photo? And he went, Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Why? And then I went, I went, how come? And he went, I can't. <laughs> what, was he in a real trend? <laughs> was he out for the season? <laughs> I don't know. He was, I think he was, so he was commentating the game, but he wasn't starting for like another 20 minutes. So I think he needed to like get ready or something like that. Uh, okay. But he just went, what happened after he went, I, I, I can't. can't. It was, we, we, just went, right. we just went, okay. And then that was it. <laughs> that was it. Uh, okay. Well, that would be a I good combo for that conversation, the, po- the podcast, yeah. That'd <laughs> <laughs> be so like, all going to be like, uh, Cause, yeah, because then he'll just reply going, yeah. And then we'd be like, right. so, <laughs> your favourite pixie? No. <laughs> pixie? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you really were struggling for conversation. Yeah, I was. Uh, um, I'd say, I'd definitely, Alan Shaw or Harry Redknapp. Because if we're going to talk about that, then that's, like context that I can yeah, get to. Very true. Which are like unattainable, but Harry Redknapp context. would be so funny. Oh, he'd be hilarious. Yeah, dad, he... do the thing. Do the thing, Dad. dad. Do the thing, Dad. Oh, yeah, uh, we... Link up the man, dem fam. Uh, I, I, I hate I'd that also, so much. I'd also like oh. to get on a lot of... Uh, oh. I'd like to get on a lot of comedians <laughs> as well. Not necessarily like anyone in particular, but I, I think it'd be so sick. Obviously, it's quite hard with, uh, you know, the big bastard COVID. Um, bastard. Uh, so, the, the struggle is we can only really get people that are in London. Uh, if anywhere else skirts is like kind of impossible at the moment but I'd love to get comedians you know like Kevin Bridges Jack Whitehall Frankie Boyle or just anyone that I think would just be such a good person just to have and just have a good conversation yeah, we, with we I'd actually, love to get James Charles on how banner would that be yeah that would be oh, great I'd comedian love, I'd yeah. love James yeah my favourite <laughs> comedian <laughs> very funny love his Netflix special <laughs> yeah instant influencer guys I was <laughs> rocking off my seat who is your I don't want to say attainable because that seems pretty bad Abby Roberts Abby Roberts. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yes, that 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 could be it. I've nabbed it because I knew. Were well, you going to say Abby Roberts? No, I wasn't going to say. Okay, that. I'll say Abby Roberts. Yeah, Abby Roberts. Abby Roberts for you. Yeah, extremely interesting character. Yeah, very very blown up very quickly, and uh, yeah. that would be a really interesting. Guess. I'd, RPG'd. I'd RPG'd. like to get a uh, big <laughs> man. I'd like to get knowledge, strength, and integrity on just because I was a massive KSI fan as a kid. You think so. KSI is attainable? Like, well, like what could actually get KSI on? Oh, no, just because he's in the YouTube scene. I think, I think any... it's attainable because we could literally just message him. Yeah, but also he has a lot on, and I doubt he's no, but number that's, one but, priority but, is to come on the antisocial no, but podcast. I'm saying, but I'm saying like, like, if you have a contact to someone, yeah. it will be like, oh, how the hell am I going to contact Harry Redknapp, Alan Shearer, yeah. all these people, but I can do it via a contact, mm. but how are we going <laughs> to... Get in contact with Harry Stars. I mean, yeah, yeah, there's no contact like, there's with no him. Contact there, but well, apart, from, apart from like can. chasing him down to like a hotel or meeting Green, be like, Harry Sales, come on the Harry <laughs> Social Podcast. Harry <laughs> Social Podcast. Signs, <laughs> come on the podcast. But well, like we're picking him up from the airport. Yeah, we're holding the neon sign. Podcast, podcast. Come on, come on. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> can we not just do that outside KSI's apartment? JJ, JJ. Like like serenade. We'll start playing the Lamborghini. We'll start playing the podcast and. <laughs> and a fucking boombox outside us. <laughs> well, like, get hyper. Fuck just do the video, that. Oh, fucking yeah, hell. I mean, Lewis can hold it and then you could just, like, break yeah. dance in front of us. Yeah, uh, uh, like, Ashley Banjo. Yes. What the fuck is that? that? Basically. Oh, that guy. Yeah. Wait, not that guy. That guy. No. Ashley Banjo, come on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> that actually was my attainable guest, so. Uh, if, who was your attainable guest? No, it wasn't. Uh, my... <laughs> My uh, person that I think we could get on who I'd like on would probably be uh, Jack Sucks at Life. Uh, I think he would be a really good guest because huh? I really think, like, I, I've watched, like, a lot of his videos. He's from, I, I think, Darlington? He's from he's from somewhere in the northeast, And I just think that he's he's done so well with, like, how many channels has he got? Like, fucking, I can't even count at this point, but he's just proper killing it and he's, he hardly does that many collabs and he's just on his own thing like I think he, he hasn't done a podcast yet so I think he would be a really really interesting guest to get on done stuff with like Mr Beast and everything 
I'd quite, I'd quite like yeah. him. No, no, I, I get that, I get that. Is there any like uh, Americans that you'd be like, I'd love to get them on? Um, obviously, after this big bastard that has passed, because you know, James Charles, Iraq, 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 no, Iraq. Yes, yeah, I want, I, I want. Iraq, the country, yeah. on the podcast. Yeah, you, well, we're well, on Colonel Gaddafi, if you're not hiding anymore. Come you on. Let's go to Iraq and let's have let's bring the sign to Iraq. <laughs> oh! <laughs> and we'll just stand outside the parliament, just being like, woo, Iraq. can we come on? And who is Iraq? Iraq does... Uh, have, do you know who Iraq is? Yeah, he's he's a guy... What he did was he... Uh, oh, what was he doing? He done the Logan Paul's couch. He bought Logan Paul's couches and then... Uh, done like what, 10 videos with them. Then he blew, blew them up. Yeah, he'd like done that. like a series for done like three uh, series with them. But he's he's grew from 1,000 subscribers. Mm-hmm. What are you laughing at? Nothing. Don't worry. He's grew from 1,000 subscribers to 900k in the space of 11 months, mm-hmm. which is like, man, what are you doing? What are you laughing yeah. at? Okay, let's, everyone, <laughs> let's see what funny man has to say. <laughs> Come on. Come on, everyone. Okay, <laughs> funny man. Absolutely not. It's fine. Uh, American people. Oh, are you all right? <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> no, don't yeah, some Tucky's pills, funny guys. Man. Come you know. on, funny man. I'll tell you later. Don't worry. Don't worry. Oh, you tell you later. Later. Okay, yeah, who would, who was yours again? Oh, I've completely forgot because funny man. Was, uh, what we're talking about? Oh, oh American American YouTubers. Uh, uh, I'm friends with Celestia Vega, and I feel like she'd be interested. That would be cool. I've would you like to like slide in? Um, no, not not in her behave. Not into no. her DMs. Mine's no. in the gutter. No, so, our, our, um, our Instagram's gone. It's like, gone. Oh, you yeah. checked. I think, right, I think, okay, no, interesting. No, no, cause I, uh, would you like Celestia Vega on, Charlie? Yeah, of course you, you would. would. Why would you like her on? Interesting character, isn't it? Interesting character. Yeah, very good. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Is, that, was, is that the reason? Why are going up on your listen, side listen, very listen, much? Right, okay, I'm just, I'm just out here living. I'm just happy to be here, but I don't, I don't why. Yeah, moving on. Like she, was, she was massive in like 2016, 2017. She made Charlie she's massive. She's doing her own stuff now, and I find it interesting. I feel like that's someone I'd be like, oh, <laughs> be interesting to have a chat to. And in yeah. terms of other American users, I'm trying to think of the top of my head. I think he's got the giggles in, you know. Right, that's a laughing gas again, yeah. guys. I've told him to stop taking notes. He won't who, stop. Who would your American guest be? James Charles. <laughs> James Charles. Face Banks. Face, Face Banks, Banks is a good one. Banks. Sheesh. Really good Scar- one. He's like the, the, one of the YouTubers that I used to watch like a lot. Yeah, like, he was good. Lot. And he's had Mom's Basement as well, which I thought was a really, really, really Mom's good... Mom's Basement. Uh, like, have you seen that? It was like, yeah, 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 yeah. I thought it was like the first kind of chat show on YouTube rather than a podcast. I, think I that, feel like it was the weirdest one though. It was like Face Banks and Keemstar. I feel like it's just such a ninja. weird show. <laughs> such a weird duo. Like Keemstar, dance, we... come on the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, I've actually got a Keemstar. Okay. Keemstar could be attainable at some point. Uh, God, that's a Twitter video. I'm pretty, sure, I'm pretty sure he would. He could think of anything worse than being associated with our group. Why? He hates half of a group. That's okay. Yeah, should we get Keemstar and Alex on the podcast and we can just join them in and just leave the room? Well, you just sit there. We don't even need mics. We just put back to back mics. We can just crouch in the corner. We have someone like with one of the mics that goes on top of their head, <laughs> a little bit mics. <laughs>